How to add a Pinterest feed to your Wix website. That is exactly what I'm going to be showing you in this quick, easy, step-by-step -step tutorial. The first thing that we're going to do is of course open up the Wix editor and then from here what I would recommend to do is just simply add a section here and we will add in a blank section and this is just somewhere where we can actually go ahead and add the Pinterest feed. So once the blank section is added in, what you then want to do is go to the link in the description of this video right here, click on this and that will take you over to this website called Elfsight. Now this is the third party software that we have to use in order to get the Pinterest embedded onto our Wix website. The cool thing about Elfsight is the fact that you can sign up for completely free as you can see right here. So just go ahead and enter in your email, click on start and then you can sign up with your Elfsight account. Now, once you have signed up and you have created your Elfsight account, all we are going to do is come up to widgets at the top. We can see all of these widgets that are available on Elfsight. However, the one that we need is Pinterest. So if we go ahead and type this in, you can see the Pinterest feed right here. So just go ahead and open this up. Then it says here, edit widget. You can choose a lot of different ways that we can show this, whether you want the Pinterest profile, the board gallery, pins gallery, a lot of different ways to go about this. So I actually quite like this one right here. This is the one that I'm going to go with. Uh, and then once you've chosen the one that you would prefer, click continue with this template. It then asks the content to display, whether you want to display your profile, boards, pins, anything like that. And then it literally says right here, the pin and board URL. You can click add pin and this is where you paste the link to the board or the profile or basically whatever you want to link and show on your website, paste the URL into here. Now, once that is done, we can also change the feed title. So if I just say here, subscribe, just like that. Now, once that has been customized and you have all of the images that you would like, and this says what you would like it to say, what we can then do is click on add to website and this is going to give us a quick preview of what this is actually going to look like. So from here, just click on publish in this top right corner. It's then going to ask you to select a plan. So depending on how many website visitors you get per month, as you can see right here, it would depend on which plan you pick. However, if you're new to Elfsight or you just want to try this out, you can go for the light version right here, which is completely free. So just go ahead and select this. And as soon as you have chosen your plan, it's going to give you this bit of code. Now, this code is literally as simple as copying and pasting it to get everything onto Wix. So just copy the code right here and then go back over to your Wix website. From here, what we are then going to do is go to this column on the left-hand side and click on add elements at the top. That is going to bring out this board right here. And as you can see, we have all of these different options to choose from, but just go for embed code, then go to embed HTML right here, and we can add this to the site. From here, we then need to just simply paste in the code that we just copied, click on update, and boom. As you can see right here, the board that we just created is going to show up. So all you need to do is actually just resize this to the size that you would like it to be. Place it where you would like to place it on your website. And that is how you can add your Pinterest feed to your Wix website.